Namaste. Namaste and much love. Must feels mystical here in the city, in the town. Ancient Roman town. I love it here. I met beautiful people. Play a little flute. I want to make a video for you. It's time to be mystical. Cancer season is approaching. Cancer season is calling for mysticism. Be mystical. I'm mystic. Live in the moment. And do the best that you can this moment now. Mystic doesn't really have plan. Mystic has vision and works on the vision every day from the heart. I don't have to know what will come to me tomorrow, what will come to me next month, how it will come, why it will come, what will be that defined steps towards just that. No, no, I'm a mystic. And mystic lives in a moment. And I don't have to know what tomorrow will to bring. This is a surprise. Every moment is a surprise. I'm a mystic. I ask for a surprise when I come to the city. I don't really come to play a flute. I play flute one hour, two hours. And I have mystical experiences. People come, they want healing or mystical deep conversations. So mystical. I'm mystical. I don't have to know. All I know that if in this moment I am to do what is in my heart and go against my fear and follow my heart, and I don't have to know, God, how it will come, how will I get this tomorrow? No. If I'm love, in abundance of love, giving abundance of love, working on my purpose, helping others, helping myself, mystically, mysteriously. Everything is to come as a surprise at the right moment. And I have nothing to fear. You have nothing to fear. But you really should not be afraid. Mystic never follows the fear in the mind. Fear in the mind has plans. It said you will not succeed. Just look. Look at the odds. Be real. Mystic lives in the heart. Mystic doesn't really care for the mind because heart is telling, trust, trust. There are surprises coming. Just follow your heart. Just love now. Mind wants to know everything defined to the last minute detail in the next minute, next day, next month. But heart knows that love is a surprise. I'm a mystic. I don't know why people have to define everything to last minute detail. They want to know everything in the mind. But mystic will tell them, answer is within you. I only have the word that I am. I give you the word. But the answer is within you. And answer has nothing to do with me, but everything with you. I cannot tell you your answer. I don't know your answer. You have your answer. Answer is within you. I can only give you the way. But you find the answer. I give you my word, but the answer is within you. Mystic knows you have to silence your mind. It wants to define everything to the last minute detail. You have to silence your mind. And in the silence of your mind, feeling deeply in your heart, doing your spiritual work, surrendering, mystic surrenders the mind. Mind wants to know it now and have it now. And because mind wants to control, mind doesn't get that revelation, doesn't grow spiritually. If you follow the mind, you don't grow spiritually fast. You just want it now. You want to know how. You want to know everything in the mind. But the mystic will tell you, surrender your mind. In the silence in your, of your mind, I am found that I am you in your heart. The answer is within you.
That's why I don't like the debates. I don't like people who come telling me it is like that, it is like this. They want to debate even if they agree and then they have a contra. No, 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 no. I'm a mystic. I'm on analysis, on uh, debates, on arguments, on this. I get headache. I'm a mystic. That's why also in Messenger I get headache. I'm a mystic. I will tell you, your mind is only rambling and rambling and rambling. I'm allergic to these things. In feeling deeply, in listening and communing with those who have the truth, and then doing your spiritual work. The mind wants to know how it is, why it is, why you don't get it now. You surrender your mind and you feel the world. And in your real, in your right time, in the right way, in the revelation that is right just for you, everything is to come to you at the right moment. Everything is to be revealed to you at the right moment. You will ascend to the next level at the right moment for you in your pace, in the way that God, that source, knows best for you. Mystic surrenders the mind. Mind doesn't have to understand what he can never know and never understand. Only in the silence of the mind, in the heart that I am, the truth is revealed, and the truth is you, and you are the answer that I am. And only so can mind know the answer when the answer is revealed in the heart can read the answer in the mind like I'm giving you the answer now this is this is how it is mysticism be a mystic mind mystic will tell you mind mind why you have all these questions and want you know you give me headaches I will give you answer then you have three more questions then I give you nine answers now you have 18 questions so it's 27 where is this going mystic will tell you the answer is within you the answer is within you silence your mind your mind can never know and understand the truth of your soul your revelation your truth because your mind is third dimensional and can know only linear third dimensional truth but you are a multidimensional being and multidimensional truth, the answer within you get revealed only in the heart where that, where that I am source of all the dimensions multidimensionally in your heart. Mystic will tell you, don't waste your time talking so much, wanting to know. Your mind will have almost so many questions, you lose the truth. Trust what is revealed in your heart. Don't run away. Go asking somebody if this is truth. If they don't go from confirmations outside of you. Mystic will tell you when you get a confirmation in your heart, trust it. Follow it. If you don't yet grasp it and understand it, it doesn't matter. In surrendering your mind to the heart and knowing that in the right time for you, in the right way, the truth is to be revealed as you. You are to be revealed as the truth and the answer within you at the right time. Mystic knows that, that I, I never ask questions people outside of me. I ask questions within myself in meditation and I waited and worked on myself and listened, dive deep until it got revealed as my truth. And then I can really know because mind can only know and know is only having information. But heart is the knowing yourself and you have to be a mystic. You have to surrender the mind that always wants to know, that wants to know how, that has million questions. When you surrender the mind and you just feel the word, every word of a teacher, book you read or whatever you feel. You don't want to understand it. You just feel it. You take it in. Don't try to understand this video. Take it in and just surrender. In your right time, maybe tomorrow, maybe in one year, the answer is to be revealed to you.
Mystic lives in the mystery of the moment, the mystery of not knowing and knowing that everything will be okay. Like I say, I'm telling you, man, I don't know anything. I'm telling you, man, I don't know anything. But I am the knowing myself. But I am the knowing myself. Enlightenment is knowing that you don't know anything. Mystic knows that. I don't know anything, but I have no questions, I have no doubts. I am knowing myself and everything is known to me, I don't know anything. But no one can shake my truth, take away my truth, convince me, because I am the truth, and truth is. Mystic knows that you cannot know any, nothing. You can only be one with the source, and everything is known to you. Mystic is a little child. Mystic looks at the sky. Mystic looks at the beauty, you know. Mystic doesn't want to know why is this sky blue? Why is this sky blue? Mystic doesn't care. How is the process that is the sky blue? Mystic, I'm loving the how the sky is blue. I'm in love. I'm becoming one in the sky and now I become the sky. And I don't have to know, because the sky is known to me. Mystic is like a child. Mystic is like a child, surrender to the moment and wandering to the moment, mystery of the moment. I don't have to know. All I know that I have to give love and where that I am from the heart and do what is in my heart and not do what is not in my heart. And everything is to come to me in the right time, the best things, if I do the best from the heart. Mind wants to know, mind wants to argue, mind wants to ramble, but mystic lives in the silence of the mind. My mind is completely crazy, but I live in the silence of my mind. I don't have to know. I don't have to know what this moon is to bring. I don't have to know, you know, really. I don't have to know. I don't have to know what next year is to bring. I love the surprises. Mystic lives in the moment and does his best. And let the universe, let the source surprise me. Be a mystic. Don't seek an answer outside of you, in others, but in the silence of your mind. Listen to others. Listen to others, but don't try to, you have to, don't try to learn it in your mind, understand it in your mind, just feel and surrender the mind. And feel, just feel, 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 feel. Surrender the mind and let the truth be revealed to you. Don't plan so much what has to happen tomorrow, next day, next week, but rather be best this moment and do the best that you can. Okay, we have some schedules, okay. But let the life surprise you. Don't expect anything. Many times we think we have condition. If I'm doing everything, right? Then universe has to bless me with everything. And then we get disappointed. Because sometimes some test comes. I know many came this year. <sighs> but Mystic only knows his power through the test. Mystic is surrendered. That's me now that Mystic has no expectation. It's not a business. I do the best that I can and I'm at the mercy of the universe. I'm giving my best energy, my best love out and I trust the universe is to bring to me whatever is the best for me. That's mysticism, no expectation, and you have, you are not disappointed, and no conditions, no expectations, every upgrade in ascension, every higher level of consciousness, every new friend, every success, every blessing, Everything that comes in your life, if you're a mystic, is a gift, is a surprise. 
We have to become children again. Our mind has expectations and like this. I know. I'm telling to my mind every day, stop expecting, stop this, just be your best self and the best will come. Mind controls everything, then you get nothing. Because then we have to learn the lesson of control. But heart surrenders and do the best from the heart. With no expectation, no condition. And trust in the divine. It's mystical. So I love you little mystical babies. Let us be mystical. Let us not be in the mind so rigid and everything planned out and with expectations and conditions and everything. Let us free ourselves. Let us surrender the control in the mind and everything. And let us be the best in the moment now and do the best. We don't have to know anything. We can only know ourselves the best this moment. And surrender the mind to the heart. And everything is to be known to us as we are knowing ourselves. And then our mind will be illuminated with the truth. No more doubts. Mystic doesn't have to know anything because mystic doesn't know anything but everything is known to a mystic. <sighs> I know. Sometimes expectations come a little bit in my mind also and like this. And the lesson comes that I don't follow my expectations. I surrender. I follow the trust in the heart that I am. Mind always want to ex expect has conditions, business and like this. And sometimes mystic has to learn. It doesn't get always, even what is promised. But this is a test of a mystic. And when you no more blame people and no more point fingers what they did, no more a victim you know that spiritual life ascension is a life of no expectations and we are tested sometimes with something that really is ours in the heart and we may not get it and then we can go cry expecting and blaming that's not mystical but true mystic understands everyone has free will everything is a gift and everything can change and if others are not good to me as they should or was planned or promised, Mystic sends them love, no hate, no blame, and gives himself the best love and best care and best friend. Mystic never blames anyone, never expects nothing. He removes himself from people who do him harm or do not respect him or violate him in any way. Praise for everybody. Forgives to everyone, but doesn't mystic doesn't forget. Mystic is wise and silent. Doesn't say out what he see. But mystic sees everything in people. What they do not see in themselves. But mystic is silent because mystic is one in one with God. And then you get such gift that you can read minds of people, that you get visions of what is happening in their life just as they comment something, just as they say something, as they project the parcel of energy. Mystic knows everything about that person, but will never say anything to them. Because ego must be surrendered. No more pointing fingers. Then universe gives you that gift to see in the minds, to feel everything. And you know, and you don't tell them. They think you don't know, they, they pretend or something. But you know. You know. Well, the only person I told what I see in the mind is my twin flame. <laughs> 
Her pretending and playing games was just too much. I had to give her love in poetic teaching way. <laughs> so yes. In such connection, maybe Mystic will tell you what he sees in you. But what I see in you, my friends, I will never say. Unless you provoke it. My twin provoked it. With pretending. Be not being sincere. And if somebody provokes it in comment, I also say. Mystic will only tell you what he sees if you poke him. If you ask for it in any way. But otherwise, Mystic is one with the source. And sees everything. People actually of this world live in the mind. They only see what is in the mind and they accuse each other. They hate each other. They pointing fingers at each other and like this non-stop. But they actually only see what is in the mind and they are lying. And lying to themselves and seeing their lies. And many times they tell me what I see in me. But I see in them just that third dimension of lies and confusion in their mind. And this darkness reflecting upon everyone they see. And I see these things in them, and as they point a finger at me, <laughs> then I maybe tell them before I block them. But my point is, people do not see others and always know everything about others and gossip and point fingers and judge. But mystic, I see you. I see everyone. I see energies. I see things they think no one sees. And I see things they are not ready to see in themselves yet. But I'm silent, leaving everybody alone. Leaving everybody alone. And just observing the eye. Because mystic is one with God. And source never interferes in free wills of others. Unless they ask for it. So I have no right. And people who are judging, pointing fingers and telling their own lies of the mind about others are actually in the matrix, you know, <laughs> they do not know, they do not see, and they are just projecting the third dimensional energies of consumption, and they think they have a right to judge others, to change others, to criticize, to gossip, I don't know what, but they don't see, they only see their own darkness reflecting in everyone else but mystic sees the true love that they are and prays for them and all the darkness and everything they try to hide and all the tricks and games and everything what even they cannot see not only prays for them in everyone because source never interferes with anyone so mystic also doesn't interfere with anyone but sees everyone and people of this this world only see their own darkness and they are throwing that darkness at each other and what I speaking has nothing to do with that person and everything with them okay my beloved mystical loveless we are love now be a mystic live in a moment you don't have to know anything surrender and enjoy the moment and be the best in the moment that you can be and do the best and let the best surprises come to you and if you love the world that I am if you want the world that I am to expand and you would love to support the world that I am do know I'm so happy and I'm so grateful from the heart for anyone who ever offered me a coin because without you I could not give you the world that I am and I'm so grateful in the state that I am and if there's any blessing in my heart in giving we receive, it goes to you. You may just receive more of invisible gifts in giving we receive. But I also do white light source healing. I purify your energies. I balance your energies. I get rid of the shit. I bet you in white light you feel better. Beyond time and space, no appointments. Surprise, mystical. I work differently. But I give you my word. I am the one with word that I am. I, everyone who ever has offered me a donation gets a healing session beyond time and space. You're going to feel it. We're going to balance it, fill you up. 
but your faith can do real miracles, you know? Like this. So, namaste. And everybody love now. Really. Peace. And thank you for being part of my journey. Let us be mystics. We are mystical babies. Mm-hmm. <laughs>